Good morning. This 20 minute chill flow is the perfect way to gently wake up the body with connection to breath. You may want to bring along a folded blanket to support the knees in the first portion of class. We will get started in child's pose. We'll get started in child's pose today. Arms and stretching forward, forehead, moving towards resting on your mat, and hips heavying towards your heels. Taking the next few moments to tap into your energy. Notice how you're feeling this morning. Without any judgment, just observing. Observe your breath. Maybe tapping into the energy that you would like to feel today as you move through the rest of your day. Maybe it's the energy of joy, calm, energetic. Good. Start to walk your hands over towards the right side of your mat. Keep your left hip heavy. And then find your forehead resting on the floor again. Maybe even reach your left palm. Stack it over top of your right hand. Coming into a side stretch. Deep breaths into your left side body, creating space through the lungs in order to facilitate deeper breaths throughout your day. And slowly begin to walk your hands back through center and over towards the left side of your mat. On this side, perhaps you stack your right palm on top of your left. And then stay really heavy through the right hip. And stretching into the ribs, all of those little muscles in between the rib cage. And slowly begin to bring yourself back through center. And then pull yourself forward into table. Stack your joints so you feel really supported. You could point your toes back or tuck your toes underneath your heels. Moving through cow and cat to warm up your spine. Inhale, let your belly drop down. Lift your gaze, your heart, and your tail. Exhale, press into your palms, round your spine, tuck your chin and your tail. You could stay with this movement or if there's any other movement that your spine is craving this morning. You could draw some circles. I'm really just taking this time to connect your movement to your breath and notice how your body is feeling, how your spine is feeling today. Shoulders, neck, low back. Let's move through one more breath cycle. And 
Good. Coming back through to a neutral position. And we'll send the hips back. Um, you can tuck your toes if they're not there already. Send your hips back coming into almost a child's pose with the, with the heels um, lifted, toes tucked under. Good. Lengthen your fingertips forward. On your inhale, bring yourself through your table and then send your hips forward. Good. Bend your knees, kick your heels up, and gently kind of windshield wiper your heels from side to side. This might be the place where you um, have a blanket underneath your knees. Good. Come back through center, bring your toes down, and then send your hips back. Good. Come back through forward table. Inhale. Almost like you're coming into an upward facing dog and then release your toes, bend your knees and just gently windshield wiper your shins, your heels from side to side. Yeah. And you can kind of play around with this. <clears throat> Tuck those toes and your hips back. I like to do this in the morning, just kind of feeling um, into my hips. Inhale as you come forward. You might just stay here and kind of sway the hips from side to side if those windshield wipers don't really suit you or your joints. And then send your hips back. Okay, coming back into your tabletop. Step your right foot forward to the outer edge of your right hand. So kind of a wide, low lunge. And then take a breath in, reach your right arm up overhead, twisting towards the right. Exhale to tap the right hand back down. And then bring that right knee back around to your table, switching sides. Step forward onto the left foot. Maybe send your hips forward. Breathe in, gentle twist towards the left. Breathe out, plant your left palm and step the left foot back into table. Good, do it two more on each side. So step the right foot forward, breathe in, twist, opening up into the upper back. Good, exhale, plant the right palm down, step back into your table. Left foot reaches forward. Good. Inhale, twist, lift your left arm up. Exhale, plant your left palm and step the left knee back. One more time. Step forward, right foot. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, right palm down and step back into your table. Last time on the left side, step that left foot forward. Breathe in, left arm reaches up. Good, exhale, palm reaches down again and come back into your table. All right, if you have your blanket underneath your knees, you could get rid of that now, tuck your toes and send your hips high for downward facing dog. Slowly begin to walk your hands back towards your toes, coming into ragdoll at the back of your mat. So pretty generous bend into your knees. Really let your head hang heavy. You might even gently nod your head. And keeping that bend into your knees to support your low back and just be really gentle on your hamstrings. Good, you might gently sway from side to side, kind of finger painting your mat. Keep the crown of your head really heavy. Going 
Good. And then come back through center. Bend your knees and slowly, really slowly roll yourself up. You might even want to drag your palms up along your legs. Really feeling each vertebrae as you stack them one on top of the other. Come into mountain pose, Tadasana. Good. Bring feet together to touch. <clears throat> Reach your arms up overhead as you inhale. Grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand and exhale, come up and over towards your right side. Crescent moon. Good. Take a full breath in. On your exhale, bend into your knees, reach even further towards the right side, and then start to round your spine, almost like you're coming into cat, kind of puffing up between the shoulder blades, reaching fingertips forward in front of you. Good. Next, inhale, reach up. Switch sides, grab hold of your right hand with your left, or your right wrist, sorry. And on your exhale, come up and over towards the left side. So once again, just exploring how the body is feeling this morning, really getting into the sides of the ribs again, opening up the intercostals. Take a breath in. Exhale, come over a little bit further towards the left side, bend into your knees, and then kind of curve your spine forward, coming into that cat spine, rounding the back of your spine towards the wall behind you. Good, take a breath in, reach up. Exhale, palms beside your hips, mountain pose, Tadasana. Full breath in, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold. Again, generous bend into your knees. Leave some space for the hamstrings to wake up a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward halfway. Lift hands on shins. And exhale, fold. Do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings. And exhale, fold. Walk your hands forward. Let's come to meet in downward facing dog. Good. Maybe a little pedal of your heels, a little wiggle of the hips or shake or nod of the head. Good. Look forward, walk, step, or maybe hop through into a seated position. And we'll come to make our way down onto our backs. <clears throat> Just rolling down nice and gentle. Soles of your feet on the floor. Good. And let's take threading the needle. And kick your right heel up towards the ceiling and then turn those toes out to the side, cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Good. This might be enough, especially first thing in the morning. Or if you'd like to go a little bit further, you can Interlace your fingers on the back of your left thigh. You might gently incorporate a little sway from side to side. 
kind of exploring how hips, <clears throat> outer edges of your glutes are feeling this morning. Good. And then release your grip. Bring the sole of your left foot to the floor. Take your arms out towards the sides. Maybe create a little cactus shape. Pick up your hips and send them over towards the right side of your mat. From here, you could keep the shape with your legs. Um, you could cross that right thigh over top for an eagle bind or really take any other version of a twist that works for you. Let your knees fall over towards the left. You might turn your gaze towards the right side, inviting a gentle stretch for the left side of your neck and a deeper twist through your spine. Slowly begin to bring everything back towards the center. Unravel your legs if you took a bind and bring your hips back to neutral. Threading the needle on the second side. Send your left heel high. Turn those toes out towards the side and cross the left ankle over top of your left, sorry, your right knee. Stay here or weave your arm through and interlace fingers on the back of your right thigh this time. Notice if shoulders are rounding off the floor. Notice if your tail is really rounding off of the floor. If so, you might need to um, drop the right sole of the foot back down to the floor. You really want to feel the length of your spine connected. Again, you might invite a gentle sway from side to side, kind of exploring this shape. Notice how those little micro movements might open up different muscles, just bring a different awareness into this shape. Good. Okay, release the grip of the hands. Bring your right foot back down to the floor, arms out towards the sides, and then send your hips over towards the left side of your mat. Again, any shape that you'd like to take, I'm going to cross my left thigh over top of my right. Let your knees fall towards the right. Maybe turning gaze towards the left. Keep your left shoulder heavy, connected. And slowly begin to bring everything back towards the center. Bring your hips back to a neutral position. Good. And draw knees in towards your chest. And let's take happy baby. If there's anything else that your body is sort of craving other than happy baby, you're welcome to take that. If you'd like to move into your final resting shape, you can take that as well. <clears throat> Maybe for the morning, it's a seated position. And if you do take a shape on your back like Shavasana, maybe set a timer for yourself to make sure that you can move with ease into the rest of your day. Whatever shape you've chosen, allow yourself to land 
Bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your chest. On your next exhale, come to empty. Let all of the air out of your lungs. Take a full breath into the palm on your belly and pause. Bring that breath up into the palm on your chest and pause. Sigh it out through your mouth. Exhale, let go. <sighs> Returning to your natural breath. Hopefully feeling a little bit more spacious and energetic, ready to move forward into the rest of your day with whatever energy it is that you tapped into. Thank yourself for carving out this time to set up your day through your practice. And I thank you so much for allowing me to guide you. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you.